Hey, what's up guys? So we are going to be doing an emblem editor for the seal of Ori Calco. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first off, I want to show you guys the finished product. This is actually what it looks like. And uh, how I actually got this was I got the picture of the seal of Ori over here online. Then what I did is I tried to replicate it as close as I possibly could and then just tweaked it over and over until all the lines matched up. And here's what it looks like on Photoshop at uh, 48 opacity. So it looks pretty close to the uh, real thing. So that's as close as you can get it. Uh, some of the symbols you can actually get like this weird looking seven with a line through it they don't actually give you enough layers in uh, call of duty to actually add that little line but you can get it to look pretty close like i said so uh here's the finished product and let's go ahead and jump right into it i'll basically go over the layers uh after i show you guys how to basically replicate it and uh, that way you can get it uh perfected uh as much as you want it depending on how much time you want to spend uh into making this so let's go ahead and discard this we're gonna go ahead and make a new emblem so first off, what you want to do, uh, as most emblems, uh, you want to go ahead and get a black background. And to do that, you just get the square, and then make it large, and change it to black. And then um, after you're done with that, um, go into the next layer, go to the uh, circles, and you want to use the circle that does not have a hole in it. You'll actually make the hole yourself later on. And then change it to this color green. This is the green that I actually like. You can definitely mess around. Uh, if you personally like a different color of green, I use the one uh, It's on the top row and it's the uh, middle one. So after you uh, get that one um, to about, I would say, almost the full square, uh, go ahead and hit start and then that will extrude it or basically put it so uh, it is hollow. And then you want to go ahead and um, copy the layer and then you just paste it again. And then um, depending on how large you want your little symbols to be, um, you can definitely change that, but uh, to make it look a little bit more realistic, it's kind of a little bit thin, I would say, but this is about what you would use. And then what you want to do after here, this is where um, it takes a lot of the time, uh, where you actually go ahead and get the rectangle tool, and then first we'll change it to green so we can get it to line up perfectly, and then uh, click down on the right analog stick, at least for Xbox. I assume it's probably the same for PlayStation. Then you want to make your line, depending on how thick you want it, you can definitely decide that for yourself. And then what you want to do is rotate it, so for the first line, it goes to, I'll use my mouse and you can see it. You want to go from right here to about, I would say, right here. So, about, let's say, actually make it a little bit skinnier. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to do it rough. Um, obviously, when you guys just take your time, make it look a lot nicer than I'm doing it right now. Um, a little bit smaller. And... Okay, th this will be about good. Watch the edges over here. See how there's like a little bit of the corner showing? Definitely take your time, like I said, um, with this, and you can make it look really nice. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy the layer and paste it. And then we want to basically uh, mirror it, mirror the uh, line on the other side. And get it to about as close as you, you really want to. Like I said, you're gonna take your time. You're not gonna have these awful edges like I am doing right now. So we're gonna go ahead and copy uh, another line. And then you could uh, rotate it. The next one's going to be uh, connecting this line right here to about right here, and this is going to be the next uh, triangle kind of that you make. So this one you might have to stretch it out a little bit longer depending on how your circles were made. So we'll make it a little bit rough, like I said, uh, we're just doing this so I don't take like half an hour to actually make the emblem. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that again, and we're going to do it about like that. And then we're going to go ahead and copy again so you can see you're basically copying and pasting a lot in this um, the next one uh, that you're gonna do is gonna be from let's see it's uh, we got these two and then we got this one from the bottom right here um, so basically right here until right there is where you want to do this one you might actually have to make a little bit shorter uh, like I said take your time with it uh, so about right there looks about good and then you're gonna paste it again and then you're gonna rotate it and oh, this one's kind of ugly <laughs> this one's very ugly but like I said uh, take your time with it and I don't want to take forever with it so there's like the the brief example then to get the little uh, uh, letters in the uh, actual like the little symbol things um, basically it looks like a, there's threes you use the uh, the three, the seven, the C, uh, the B, and that's really it. And basically what you do is you can go to the type, and then let's just do the first one, which would be a, a three. Um, you could do the M if you wanted, but the M isn't really rounded. And the real seal of calculus, it basically looks like a lowercase m, but unfortunately they don't have that. So what you can do to actually get this to line up straight is make it really big first, and then use this as a guide for you, this little... Um, 
uh, crosshair, line it up and then change it to green, make it a lot smaller, and you can definitely rotate it, uh, make uh, change the skew of it, and uh, basically line it up, and it's just real tiny in the center right there, and then you have your first one. And to make this a lot faster, I'm going to basically show you what numbers go where, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get my pre-made one, and so it's uh, I guess this will be easy for you guys because uh, you guys can actually look at this. Like I said, I wish you could just like have like a download link or something like that. But anyways, it goes three seven B. C uh, well, I'll just go over it, and then you guys can uh, definitely um, look at it and then decide what you want to do. Like I said, um, you can definitely change the uh, size of these, but. Um, it leaves you with basically one empty layer. So that is how you create the seal of Orikaukos in Call of Duty. But um, if you, any of you guys want to play with me in Call of Duty, my friends list is full. But if you want to do League, I'm definitely down to do League. Uh, if you have like a KD of like maybe like 1.5, I would say, and you like to do League play, or if you're in Masters in League play, that would probably be easier. Just uh, send me a message, and then if I ever have someone uh, that... Uh, like is inactive for like several months I can just remove him then I can add you and then we could play some league play I do definitely do like to do league play on Call of Duty uh, even though it's not as awesome as like Halo competitive back in the day but uh, yeah that's how you create the emblem for the seal or calcos and I thought I'd mention uh, oh here's my gamer tag uh, because I know some of you guys want to uh, play Call of Duty with me. It's just Sladra, and then there's no like X's or anything like that. But uh, yeah, if you're in Masters League or if you have a KD of 1.5 and you like to League play, uh, yeah, just send me a message and maybe we can do some League play. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes signing out. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, I forgot. Um, I do actually have a channel that I do play a lot of Call of Duty on, and I play other games. I figured I'd mention it, because some of you guys are like, why don't you upload some Call of Duty? Um, I'll put a link down below in the description box, you can watch one of my uh, more recent games uh, playing some Call of Duty. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes, out.